My name is Rosalind Hutzel, and I'm from Houston, Texas. And how long have you been dancing? I've been dancing for the past 14 to 15 years. Okay. How did you get into it? Um, I think probably like my family and my siblings, because they all started, so it was just like easy to get into. Like I saw them doing it, and then I just kind of started doing it. How many siblings are there? I have two older sisters, two and that's it. Older. Yeah. Okay. So you're the baby. Mm hmm Awesome. And how did you go from Texas to Seattle? How does that happen? Well, I, so I started dancing in Texas, and then I moved to New York in 2017 to dance at the School of American Ballet, and I danced there for three years. And I had finished a summer at PNB, and uh, like while I was there, it just like I don't know. I, it, that was the happiest I had ever been dancing. So I kind of like just wanted to explore that a bit more. Um, and then I obviously knew about like the professional division program. So that's kind of how I got into that. So talk to me about dancing in COVID. How was that? Oh my gosh. Um, it was definitely a bit of a struggle. I think everybody kind of felt it. Not being able to perform, which is something that, I don't know, we are all, especially as PDs, we're all excited to do, um, just because it's something that goes along with the program. But as much, like, as difficult as it was, it was really a good opportunity to, like, explore who I, like, felt as I, that, who I felt I was as a dancer, because, um, I don't know, when you're in a, you're like your own apartment and there are no mirrors and there's nothing to look at, so it's like you go off of strictly like what you can feel. You just like, I don't know, you get to explore a little bit more, which is, that was, that was a good, that was, that, that was a good light to it. Do you have any, uh, do you live on the first floor? Where do you live in your apartment? <laughs> so last year I lived on the fifth floor and my next door neighbor was quite, Annoyed at it, you know. It like came to the jumping, and yeah, he would he would underneath? um next door to me. So no, next door was it not underneath? Yeah, no, nothing from underneath. It was just next door, and he would bang on the walls every time we started dancing. Oh, man. Yeah, it was a little stressful, but luckily our apartment people like were really great about us like dancing there, and they were like, no, it's fine. Like you can't, you like he, they, they got mad at him instead of us. So that was a bit of a godsend. Well, probably too. Like, this is a consistent yeah. source of tenants. Right, like, exactly. OK. Um, cool. So what do you do for fun? <laughs> I feel like <laughs> that's kind of, I don't know. It changes, but it doesn't. I like hang out with friends. Honestly, I find just sitting on the couch and like watching TV shows or like talking to people that I care about like I'm enough fun right now oh my gosh <laughs> we've been really struggling trying to find like a tv show or something to watch so we recently started watching um like daredevil which is like a marvel series yeah, yeah. um because we're like really into that um and yeah i'm trying to think of what else Are you you like the marvel movies yeah yeah so have you seen the new spider-man oh yes yeah, we, we went together to the theater like right before uh, christmas eve yeah i haven't seen it yet I need it's to see so it. good i actually had a friend tell me top three marvel movies of all time oh it was really good it was it was very like intricate and well made it was like i feel like it was around the same like level of think of thinking as like in game and like infinity wars like how like it all kind of like fit together some way like I don't know. That's Endgame, Endgame blew me away. Yeah, no, me too. Last year, okay, so confession, like around this time last year, or like a year and a half ago, I like really didn't watch Marvel movies. I just like, I never got into it and I thought it was like so overwhelming. Like I wanted to and I like enjoyed like the ones that I had seen, like Captain America and Thor and Guardians of the Galaxy. But like I just never like got into it because it's like such a big universe yeah. that like it's just so overwhelming. But then like she like <laughs> i watched um infinity wars and then i like or infinity war and i wanted to come back and watch endgame but i was like I, it's not gonna have the same payoff i know like if i haven't seen all of the movies so i went i <laughs> i binged like almost all of the ones that i hadn't seen or no all of the ones i hadn't seen which like was pretty much all the movies except for like five within like a week it was like it was pretty intense but it was definitely worth it, it? yeah for sure okay so kind of coming back to dance a little bit, um, why do you continue to dance? Oh gosh. I feel like I have to, every 
once in a while, I have to like almost ask myself that again, just because like you can definitely get caught up in just doing like going through emotions and I don't know, just doing it because you've done it for so long. But I think honestly, it's just it, it I, when it's super good and I, it just brings me a lot of joy when I don't know, like the moment where you get to like go out on stage and like bring this like art form that's like so beautiful and that you can like that you enjoy so much like I don't know just being able to share that with people and also like just pushing yourself because like there is no like perfect in ballet which can be really depressing but also I don't know like motivating in some sort of way because you're like always going to be striving and it's just like a never-ending like journey I don't know where do you want to be in five years Oof. I mean, the dream would be to be like at Pacific Northwest Ballet and like loving life. But I think the, one of the most valuable things I've learned within like the past within the past five years is just like being happy where you are. Um, so honestly, as like cheesy as it might sound, I just want to be in five years. I'd like to be just really happy and content with like how my life is going and like where it's heading. Regardless of where that is. Yeah. With or without dance. It, as hard as it is to say, like, yeah, I think, I think, like, the dream as of, like, where I'm sitting right now would be, like, to have dance in my life and, like, to be, like, succeeding at it and beyond, like, I don't know, just beyond happy in that. So that would be, like, obviously, like, the dream if that were five years from now. But just to have joy in, like, what I'm doing. Okay, let's say you can write your future. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Then probably at like P and B, um, and like just dancing as much as I can, and just I don't know, killing it. <laughs> okay. What's your dream role? Ooh. I think my dream role. I mean, just coming from Nutcracker, I would have to like do drop is like insane, and I just think that it's like such a fun, you know, role to do. But like, ooh, out of everything, that is such a difficult question. I feel like I haven't seen enough or like I don't know enough to say for sure. Um, I mean one of my favorite ballets has to be like West Side Story by George Valentin just because it's so exciting. So I think honestly being a part of that would be incredible or like Serenade just because it's so iconic. Okay. But yeah. Awesome. What do you have coming up this year? Um, right now, um, some of the PDs and I, myself are working on Romeo and Juliet, which is going to be happening in two weeks. And <laughs> so that's for right now. And then we also have Swan Lake with the company, um, which all of the PDs are definitely looking forward to and just being back on the stage and performing alongside the company. And then for our school show, we have Beauty and the Beast that's coming up as well. Are you, what roles do you have in um, in Romeo and Juliet, um, I'm in the ballroom scene, so a core female in that. And then for Swan Lake, um, one of the swans, and then possibly a, one of the princesses that like shows up at the ball. And then for Beauty and the Beast, I'm doing Belle. So. You Belle? Yeah. Get out of here. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, what would you say to someone who's looking up? Ooh. <laughs> I feel like that's so hard because, I don't know, I feel like where I am, I'm constantly looking up to people that like, I want to be like or I draw so much inspiration from and just like thinking about somebody like looking up to me. I feel like I would just, I feel like I would just say like, I don't know, keep pursuing like ballet as it brings you joy and like how important it is to just keep going every day as if you love it. But like, don't let ballet become the only thing that's important to you. Because I feel like I, watching it, it, like people kind of struggle. Like one of my sisters, she had an injury and then that was pretty, pretty serious. And like watching her kind of like, oh no, like will I be able to dance again? And like how much that really like came into our identity. I feel like everybody needs to remember that like first off you're a human and that is like the utmost important thing and then you're a dancer and like what you choose to do with your human life is like make art and like um, just, I don't know, and bring joy to people through that way. But always remember that like you're an important human first. <laughs> I love that. Um, 
So you mentioned kind of like just having other things that make up your identity and your identities. Mm -hmm. What are those for you? Um, I think family is a big thing and also faith is another big thing that just, I don't know, brings together my identity and like what, what like grounds me in that way um, is, yeah. So family, friends, and faith, big Fs. <laughs> Well, thanks for shooting. We're going to make some pictures now. And um, yeah, do you have anything else you want to say that to? I don't think so. I'm excited to get going. All right, let's do it.